spiritually yours back with another reading hey y'all what's up what's up what's going on we going to hop right into it to my angels my guides my ascended masters the divine the universe the higher power archangel michael raphael jophiel gabriel uriel metatron azarel and to my ancestors that love and care for me and want the best for me please and thank you for the clear precise accurate messages i need to deliver to the collective at this time let's get it we're all on different timelines this could be someone's past present future flip the roles if need be take only what is yours um this is not gender specific use your discernment and i go by the illustration energy and definition of the card i have some channel messages I'm not going to read them all unless I see it plays out in the cards. Your silence, silence <laughs> is worrying others. You can cut the tension with a knife. It's more, you didn't went incognito on people. They don't know what to expect of you, from you. They don't know if things are going well, going bad. I don't know. It's worrying people. Let's see what we get here. Oh, 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 oh. So we got picture. See? <laughs> picture. Looking at your pictures. Missing you. Nostalgia. Make new memories. I'm telling you, there's people that probably was watching you on social media. And I don't know if you went cold turkey on social media. But they're scrambling trying to figure out what's going on with you. We got sunglasses watching looking perception and stalking sword and rose clarity and truth revelations honor and protection determination the golden mirror narcissist love bomb and self-absorbed and one-sided there could be a narcissist energy that's trying to get information on you um it, it goes with what i was saying see there um People don't know if magic is working on you or spell work or evil eye because they can't see what's going on with you. Um, they don't know why you haven't spoke on what was done to you. So some people, their conscience is bothering them. They don't understand how they could do you the way they did you and you just went on quietly with your life and you continued on and you're healing in silence somebody i think somebody expects you to ret retaliate so since you're quiet they don't know if you're prepping to sneak they ass so they're scared so we got people worrying about that there was um a betrayal a theft stolen identity some type of fraud copycat energy um some of y'all, it might have been like physical harm that was done to you and someone called the cops or tried to say um, you did something to them and got the cops involved. I'm just feeling like a real messy situation. That's who's watching you. We got narcissists here. Somebody in that type of like negative toxic energy, they're worried because they can't see or they don't know what's going on with you. Um... It has somebody, I got Inspector Gadget Energy. Um, people just don't know how to read you if you're not giving them no information. Let's see. I think it's supposed to be that way. Ship, cutting ties, moving on, receive what you need. Progressive and progression and arriving. Some of y'all, your ships are sailing in. They're at the dock. They're like right there um they already oh they're actually on land so some of y'all got blessings coming in they don't want you to speak on it because you have energies watching you to see what to uh, attack that's going on with you um so some of y'all being advised to be in hermit mode at this time and it's just to safeguard your blessings and your um rewards that are coming in and to protect yourself some of you healthy choices self-love and self-care being happier love and life twin flame yin yang and balance union and duality compliment 
polar opposites. Some of y'all, you're about to meet somebody where it's opposites attract. This person is a total opposite of you, but y'all somehow balance each other out. Healing heart. Healing heartbreak, toxicity, or addiction. Abusive relationship. Didn't I just say physical harm? Some of y'all um, were in a very toxic union with a narcissist energy. And this mofo is watching you. They're trying to keep tabs on you to see if you're healing or not. Because then it makes them feel some type of way if you're actually able to move on from everything they've done to you and still have a good life. So they're trying to see if your ships are sinking instead of docking. Look all you want, mofo. The ships are here. <laughs> what are you going to do? Nothing. You could attack the collective. Whatever you're trying to do, it's not going to work. I don't know who this is, but they need to not know what's going on with you. The chaser. Fear of abandonment. Chasing and codependency. This person could have been codependent on you financially, emotionally, physically, whatever. They were codependent on you. So without your energy and without seeing what's going on with you, I feel like somebody could be losing it here. Addiction. Codependent twice. Obsession and restraint. I said about the cops. <laughs> possession and control emotional block no somebody's addicted to you heartbroken deeply hurt and sad feeling lost grieving despair over a breakup it's it's giving me to with you healing this person is afraid of your strength because I feel like it was a lot done to you that was dirty from someone or like real messy and hurtful. And if you're able to heal from this, this person knows you're strong. They might have at one point thought you were weak. Um, Somebody's getting a realization from watching you come into your blessings and still be able to go on and be happy. They're understanding how strong you are. Um, grounding, stability and security, performance, growth and endurance. Exactly. They're like, if they can endure what I've done to them and get through this shit, ain't nothing that I'm going to do after them leaving me that's going to work. If you're able to heal from whatever this person did, and I feel like it's trifling energy, um, it's scaring this person. And they know if you're getting blessed that some backlash is coming to them. Um, some of them could be realizing how protected you are after you left them. So they know there's karma coming to them. Uh, and it's well deserved from the cards that are out here. Paradise, happiness and joy, playfulness, enjoying each other in honeymoon phase. Some of y'all, your twin is on this ship that's docking. So this person could play if they want to. Let them come towards you. Yep, and I did put here um, that something was done detrimental and some of y'all didn't speak on it. Um, Some of y'all didn't speak on it because you felt it was embarrassing to you. But you made it out of something. And they don't know how to read you. Because you made it out. They don't know if you're telling people the story. And if you are, they want to poke holes in it to try to defend themselves. It's not going to work. Some of y'all, I'm feeling like a physically abusive relationship here. Somebody might be trying to keep tabs on you to know where you are who you're around. I just feel like a real controlling energy here. We have engagement, y'all. Higher commitment, eternity, partnership, and union and completion. I'm telling y'all, some of y'all, your twin flame is on that ship that's docking. It's going to lead to paradise. It's going to lead to healing and stability and engagement. Old school, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Um, some of y'all have to let go of um, 
whatever pertaining to the past, especially when it comes to healing, they're asking you to let that go. Um, and it's because you have new things coming in for you. They don't want any outdated thinking or um, any conditioning going on here. Because um, you have somebody coming in that's going to love you. And as I say that, we have key on a ring. Many options, unconventional, one night stand and string along. Maybe I could think that that's why people come towards you. This person is not like that. Whoever is coming towards you is not like what you're used to. Some of y'all could be used to being strung along, people playing with your feelings or having options while being with you. I don't feel that with this twin flame union. Karmic relationship. Yeah, you're used to karmic relationships. Resentment and triggers. Perception, intensity, and letting go. Turmoil and fleeting. Yeah, you're used to karmic relationships. Mm. Wedding rings, union and marriage, soul connection, everlasting love and devotion. That's these unions that are coming into play now. These high-level commitments and high-level soulmate unions, twin flame, um, life partners, divine unions. They're consistent of marriage. That's why I think we have so much against us when it comes to these unions because that type of love is definitely going to bless the planet, the energy, um, the snake, competition and enemy, the other woman, look over your shoulder. Um, that's this person. They're a snake and they slithering, trying to figure out stuff about you. They really sneaky. I'm getting and mm -mm. some of y'all went from lovers to enemies. Like, this person, mm -mm. I don't like their energy. We got Teddy Bear interested in you, blooming romance, flirting, and want to date. Um, some of y'all could be getting ready to be with a Teddy Bear like energy, somebody a little fluffy ish, but they're loving and interested in you. Um, they want to date and they're open to love. So that's giving me like gentle giant energy. Um, or one, if it's a woman, she's, ooh. <laughs> that's the, ooh, the dragonfly, lighthearted and adapt. Finding out and change. Things come into light and heal. I don't know if some of you thought it was you that caused issues in the union nobody's perfect but i feel like this person has issues um y'all gonna realize it some of y'all might have to get a restraining order on this person because from, from what i wrote down in these cards it's looking like somebody's a little bit loony um girl with a snake charmed or used un enable boundaries some of y'all could be dreaming of snakes or have a fear of snakes it's a lot of snake energy um i don't know if this person used you i don't like this person y'all i really don't separation is definitely that person sadness bitterness missing you thinking about you uncertain future um, I told you this person's scared. They don't know what's going to happen to them. They don't know if you want to gather up the strength to come back and retaliate. Y'all off to bigger and better things. If the retaliation comes, it's your spirit family. Passion. Insane chemistry. Ugh. Insane chemistry. Sparks and having fun. Equal interest. Burning desire. Exactly. Yin and yang energy. Twin flame energy. Some of y'all, I did say it was soulmates. Um, soul connection, partnership, soul contract, life partner. I told you the unions that's coming in. Blowing a kiss. Unconditional love. Giving and receiving. Fairness and love. Attention return. It's reciprocated energy. And it's genuine. 
equal give and take. Um, I feel like abundance, prosperity, kindness to each other, attentive to each other's needs. Um, somebody's affectionate like you. Um, clock, needing time, cycles and cycles and takes time. Time to heal and progress. And take take your time. Be patient with yourself. Um, if there's things that this person is ready for that you're not, let them know. Not today. Look at here. Boundaries and hurt. Avoiding conversation. Not dealing. Still upset. Yeah, take your time. I mean, um, you're worth waiting for. And somebody that could relate to you could understand if you're in a healing stage that nothing needs to be rushed here. There, there shouldn't be that type of pressure put on you. Enjoy yourself. Date. Um, it's going to lead to marriage, a lot of you. So take your time with your person. They'll be patient. The butterfly evolving in growth. Next phase. Healing inner child. Releasing the past. Yeah. Mm -mm. Some of y'all are not ready for your person. You still need to heal. They're still evolving. Needing Needed here. For you, you to move to the next phase. I don't know if it's a retrograde or not. Because I don't keep up with that stuff. But for the last couple days, I've been stuttering and stumbling over my words. I'm like, what the hell? Um, we have abundance. Pos told you. There's prosperity and abundance here. Positive mindset. Manifest gratitude and bliss and blessings. Some of y'all about to get some money. There's some money coming to you. Um, if you keep a positive mindset, you'll be able to manifest blessings partying time with friends having fun happily single living in a moment yes yeah, some of y'all your person you're not ready for your person they want you to enjoy the company of family and friends at this time while you're healing some of y'all can have a vacation plan going to the beach um but i saw a coffee cup at the bottom some of y'all um are not ready for your person um and this energy needs to be cleansed here. Love call, expressing love, messages of love, thinking of you, informing you. This person's going to know how to communicate. So you might spend a lot of time on the phone with, with this person when you're away from them. Um, this is really cute. There, it shows interest. Um, they'll be, they won't hide things from you. We have informing you. Um, expressing love. This is so cute. Some of y'all can meet this person while you're on vacation. It's next to the party card. Phoenix. Whew, some of y'all are Phoenix rising. Oh my God. New phase and rekindle. Renew and growth. Change mind. Rise from the ashes. Didn't I say on this paper? Rewind. Um. Let me see. You made it out. Yep. There was something detrimental done to you. Something traumatizing. Something um, really hurtful and disappointing. And y'all made it out of it. That's what's going to teach this person not to play with you. They're not going to keep you down. Keep you down how? Man, look. Come on now. Y'all the Phoenix Risings. Date. Get back out there. Meeting someone new. Setting a date. Date online. Some of y'all might meet this person online. Um, I don't feel like a lot of y'all are doing the date site things. I feel like it could be through social media. Somebody sparks a conversation with you. They could track what you got going on. A lot of y'all in hiding on social media. Um, that's why this person is panicking. So, um, some of y'all, you're going to meet this person while you're out somewhere. Um, ugh. we have the runner, fear of intimacy, running away, intensity and letting go, turmoil and fleeting. Um, yes, please work with it on the healing. I did this. Because I was so used to being abandoned in relationships. I, I kept trying to run on my person. And he, he's like, I don't care. You're going to run right into a brick wall. And it's going to turn your ass right back around. Because there's no breaking up here. 
you're going to have somebody that understands you might try to run from the situation because of the past. Um, they're not going to let you. Mm -mm. This person is going to understand. Hold on, I got the cards upside down. Talking, interesting, aw interested, awaiting messages, text calls, and email, and talking. I'm telling you, this person is going to talk your ear off. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you can tell with me if I rocks with you because lord knows if I don't I'm quiet as hell but if I blah, 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 your person is going to talk, talk your ear off some of y'all might have coffee dates or you might meet this person out at Starbucks or something meeting and talking savoring the moment feeling elevated building a friendship it might start as friends first and then sparks start to fly. You be like, hey, I'm kind of feeling this person. A wrap. <laughs> it's over. Oh my God. I'm feeling like love at first sight. This is so cute. Poker face. Taking a chance. Risking options. Not showing hand and gambling. Some of y'all might be going to the casino. Um, win some money for me through. Um, but... I feel more so you might feel like you're taking a risk trying to date again. If you don't try, you will never know. You will never know if your person is out there if you don't try to get back out there and meet people. Um, but I feel like, like I said, with the not showing hand, a lot of y'all not letting people know your moves, what you got going on, what you thinking, what you feeling. Um, and I feel like that's helping a lot of you. It's saving your manifestations. Because some, sometimes you tell people stuff and it tanks. And you be like, damn, what happened? That seems so promising. Yeah, it's somebody you told their energy. They didn't want you to have that. It tanked. Yeah. So some of y'all are not showing your hand. Like, I got four aces, bitch. You would never know. <laughs> Yo. I'm about to checkmate your ass, but you won't know until I actually checkmate your ass. You will not see it coming. I feel like a lot of y'all are just like, nope, I have nothing to tell you. I have nothing going on. Like, I just don't want to share your experiences with people. Seduction, attraction, teasing, hooking up and date, third party temptation. That's that past person. I feel like they would could have been a could have been whole activity. You know, a lot of narcissists have sexual addictions. I feel like this person, I don't know. I really don't like them at all. Backstabbing, as I say that. Heartbroken and pain. Separation and loss. Deception and lies and shocking attack. I'm telling you, some of y'all, because you're not speaking or showing what's going on with you, this person don't know how to attack you. Um, they don't know how to attack what you got going on and coming in because they don't know. They're clueless. So, um, with their negative thinking, they're probably thinking because you're not showing or speaking on stuff that things are going bad for you. No, y'all just don't want people in your business. We got masks. Exactly. Mind your business. Hiding true feelings. Pretending and, and delude. Gaslight and per personify. And this person's fake. Like, they probably don't even know their... This person could have, like, a sexual identity issue. Um, a lot of narcissists have that, too. Um, so this person, I don't know. They're hiding something about themselves. They could be gay or bi, to be honest. You're hiding something when it comes to seduction, I feel could be a gigolo or a prostitute i don't know something is trifling here cut down cutting out separation stop the pattern silent treatment exactly zip and this person is sneaky so they're not going to contact you to find out what's going on with you they just want to watch you so they could be sneaky about whatever's going on behind the scenes take your slithering ass <laughs> Take your slithering ass somewhere else. We got hammer on the bottom. This, this is a new deck, y'all. I feel it is deck. This deck is, well, all of them I love, but... Self-indulgence, self-worth and value, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. Yeah, they think y'all going through hell and hot water. 
they thinking the worst is going on with you. And some of y'all just loving on yourself in silence. Last one. Ascending. Exactly. <laughs> Yo, learning and expansion. Transcending. Preparing for union in the new a new phase. Some of y'all in the cocoon stage of your transformation. You going to bust out as a whole butterfly. People going to be like, what the, where the hell is what What happened here? Um, Cupid's arrow at the bottom. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation is struck by love. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, my God. I love this. Let's see what else we can get here, y'all. Um, your, fr your friend. Y'all going to start off as friends. Your um person seems like they are the bomb. I'm getting like a teddy bear energy for the men, for the masculine energy. I feel like very protective, but with you, you soften this person. It's like they're hard on the outside, but then that mushy part comes out when they're around you. Um, if I'm talking to my men, that's how you're feminine is going to have you in that kind of mushy energy um i feel like you've both been waiting on this this type of love i'm really feeling this y'all i'm feeling gushy and mushy inside i feel like somebody is so cool to be around like this is cute um y'all i'm sweating i can't even turn the air condition on it makes too much noise um Let's see here. Let's see what we get for the love situation. Reconciliation. Learn to reconcile with yourself. Some of y'all, um, your ancestors and them want you to be secluded so you can work on you with no distractions before all of this starts to come in for you. We have past life here. We reunite with our loved ones over and over in different lives. What's, where's this past life energy coming from? Could be your twin or your soulmate. Um, synchronicity. Love. Love can conquer everything. I just heard if you have any type of connection with this person, your new person is not going to like them. I'm telling you now. They're not going to like this person at all. Moment. Um... Mm -mm. They're not going to like this person. I don't know how this is going to work. Attract. You're attracting this person to you um, by living in the moment, being in the present moment, and loving on yourself. Um. Yep, you're attracting a union. Look at there. Um, mm -mm. If you have to co-parent with this person, I don't know how you're going to figure this out. Because from the jump, they're not going to like this person. You could have had a past life with these two people. So there's like residual energy from a past life here. They don't, I don't think they're going to like each other. I'm going to just be honest with you. Hopefully y'all don't have an attachment to this person. Um, they're very narcissistic and cutthroat. And yeah, you're attracting, look at this. You're attracting a union, a twin flame union. All the hard work you put in towards yourself. I feel like when you love on you, others will reciprocate that. Sometimes we think we love ourselves, but we don't know what we're showing to the world by accepting certain things. You can love the hell out of you, but if you letting somebody mistreat you and you know you deserve better... And you're staying in that situation. It shows the universe that you don't have that love. The love that you think you have, that's a thought. But what you're actually putting into the universe is showing that you don't. So um, that's why a lot of people don't understand like how things get sent to them. It's like, I'm such a good person. And are you really? Because I see a lot of negative people. They be doing all right, but I think they work for the devil. Blessings come from there too. But sometimes we might think we're a certain way and it's not really 
being shown to the universe in that way. And some of us are just good people and we just get fucked over. So I'm not going to say it like that. But um, some of y'all, they want you to love on you so that love can come from somebody else and be reciprocated. The universe will send you somebody that will reciprocate that energy. Um, sometimes when you are a loving person, you attract the worst kind of people. So you just have to have your discernment. And just be careful out here because people wear masks. We do have masks out here. Um, we have recognition. I feel like you're going to recognize that some of y'all might pick up on like you did have a past life with this person. Um, emotion. Yeah, the feelings that you have. As I said, feelings is at the damn bottom. Um, and trust. Yeah, there's something about this new person. Um, I don't know what kind of life you've had with them in a the past life. I'm gonna be nosy. We have tree here. Somebody could be an earth sign. Um, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, deep. marriage again we got intense yeah mm -mm. we got challenge at the bottom there's something let go let the universe work things out in this divine time so you're gonna grow old with this person let me dig into the past life. Let me get like three more of these tests. Your strengths and text text. Somebody gonna text you. I hope it's not this person. Y'all block that person. <laughs> Yo, I'm so sick of this energy. Oh my god, we have tests. Your strength and weaknesses are being tested. I'm telling you this person about to see how strong you are. Connection. Test connection. Guilty. Yep. Confusion. Yes. Clarity. This person, somebody's confused about something here. But they will get the clarity. Let me see what's after clarity to see what they're getting ready to get clarity about. I think this is challenge. know what I'm getting from that y'all this mofo might go to this person might go to jail real jail or spiritual jail they better take the real one because the spiritual one is worse um somebody could be pleading guilty to something here and they gonna be confused like I don't understand why really you don't they gave you 14 pages worth of evidence and you don't understand why you're guilty. This person is delusional. I don't know what I'm getting with that. I feel like this this, mo this person might go their ass to jail. And that's part of their karma. They might need to be a way away to leave you alone. Because somebody's hard-headed here. Um... I don't get it. I need to find out about this past life, though. I need to be nosy here. Can I have something on the past life? Oh, I'm darn it. Can I have something on the past life situation? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know which way this fell. I'm putting it back. Ten of Cups. You had love with this person. Power in reverse, personal transformation, fear of change, averting or delayed disaster, suffering, collapse, stormy time, relentless. Oh no, that's not what that says. Somebody could have been. It says restlessness. Y'all tried to avoid a tower. The Ten of Pentacles. This is beautiful. Well, what happened? Why do we have the death card at the bottom? 
Hold on. This ended. Let me find out why. What happened? Justice. Oh my God. When I do these past life readings, it be like a, a chilly, like a drama to me. Like a movie. Because I'm trying to discover, like, what happened here. Um... Death was justice? Why would the Ten of Cups and Pentacles ending be justice? Somebody did something unjust? Hold on. Somebody had the death penalty here? I'm getting death because of justice? The Two of Swords. Deadlock. Difficult decision. Somebody was executed here. What the fuck? Hold on, y'all. More on this. Yeah, like shock. Yo, I'm getting. What's the thing? What do they do? Oh my god, y'all. What do they do in jail? The execution with the thing on the head and shocking. Oh my god, y'all. I'm drawing a blank. That's what I'm getting here. Hold on. More on this? The strength card. The fool. Yes, that's the y'all. Y'all got me on on um eggshells here. Y'all hold on. I'm sorry. Y'all gonna have to see me. Yo, this chair is killing me. Hold on, let me get a pillow. I did not expect to get up, but I can't I can't do it. I'm in my daughter's room and I got to get myself together here. This is killing me. Um oh that's so much better. Page of Pentacles in reverse. That's the card I put back. It was upright. Lack of commitment, greediness, laziness, procrastination, and learn from failure. This person, I feel like this person tried something in another in a past life with you and this person. Somebody asked our elect um executed here is what I'm feeling. High priestess. Well, there was a death that was unjust. It's like y'all tried to avoid a tower and this person created it anyway. I don't the two the high priestess, the two of cups. We got eight eight here and we got two two. And the ten of wands. There was love and then it goes to the ten of wands. Burden. Oh God. This is my laid to rest card. This is giving me some type of death here that was unjust. What happened here? Ace of Wands. I feel like this person was crazy in another lifetime. A nut. A whole nut. And as I get that... Hold on, y'all. I got the Four of Pentacles and the King of Swords. I feel like it should have came out in reverse. I feel like that's this person's energy. Overly emotional, easily influenced, bitchy, cold-hearted, cruel, and bitterness. It came up right. I'm going to take it how it came, but I feel like it should have been in reverse. The Empress. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, that's it. Hold on. Three of Wands and the Hermit and the Queen of Cups. We got all four queens here. No, we're missing the Queen of Wands. There's an Empress energy here. I feel like that's who Ace of Swords. Four of Wands and the Queen of Wands is right there. And then the Ten of Wands and the Hangman. The Seven of Swords. Wands. Mm-mm. I feel like this person was obsessed in the past life. Like, real stalker-ish. They got the tendencies this past, this lifetime. They just know that you're strong because you overcame whatever the hell they did with you. They ain't gonna try you this lifetime. 
they did in a in a past life I feel you were an empress energy men y'all was with an empress energy there was a raggedy ass masculine that caused an unjust death here and I feel like it was to the feminine energy out of some type of jealousy rage shit that's what I'm getting about her being in a union with someone else with you masculine that's what I'm getting from this. The three of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. And I feel like this person worked hard to put a plan together here. Mm-mm. Because they saw you as wish fulfillment with the lovers. We got night energy, the magician, and betrayal, and the eight of cups. This person thought they got away with it. I feel like they got some kind of stoning or electric... I keep saying electrocuted. Um... Emperor, yep, both of you are out here. There was celebration between you, wish fulfillment with the star, the lovers. We got the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. We got the Six of Pentacles. And the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands, in and out energy. Night energy. That manifested betrayal. Eight of Cups, disappointment. And recognition. Yo, I don't get it. The Ace of Cups in reverse. Emotional loss. Block creativity. Emptiness. The masculine en energy is Emperor. Look at the energy there in with the Ace of Swords. I mean, Ace of Cups in reverse. Emotional loss. Blocked. Emptiness. Repressed emotions. I feel like because they lost the feminine energy. This person did something to the feminine last one hermit in reverse no five of cups in reverse self-forgiveness moving on acceptance well they ass ain't got the strength to do it this time and they don't they won't have the opportunity neither that's why you're being told to keep what's going on to you with you going on with you to yourself or don't put it out there so much. Because they they don't have the balls to do it this lifetime. But I feel like they will attack it. I don't know if they'll go to somebody. Um, but I feel like they would attack it in some way. Whatever you got going on here. Let me pull a couple from here and see if they'll tell me. Well, we got Liar at the bottom. That's obvious got a narcissist energy let me pull this deck up so i can see the cards that are here so i can see if this deck pulls the same cards hold on this person tried to test your weaknesses and strengths when they was with you so they know how much they could do to you they figured out real quick nothing <laughs> just take your sorry ass on nothing if i'm talking to a man and this is a, a feminine energy she is trifling let me see here more on this compete right off the bat we got compete and we got karmic we also have fake and we also have the archangels here this person in some way, shape, or form is sad that they can no longer love bomb you. We have a water sign energy here. And we have I love you. So some of y'all are um, coming into union with um, a water sign. We have the earth sign energy here. We have Virgo and Capricorn. Um, I did say I felt like somebody was an earth sign. It could be a water sign that wants to love bomb you and say that they love you. Um, so just be aware. But with that teddy bear energy, that's giving me water sign energy. We'll see what the next couple cards are. More on this. We have love offer here. We have sex magic and we have conflict. 
some of y'all, yeah. Y'all gotta move in silence. And that's terrible. Or you just need to make sure this person don't have no way to contact you or see what's going on with you. I feel like this person will make fake pages. So some of y'all just is going, y'all just gonna be incognito. Yep, we have um Divine Feminine. We have Love Coming. We have Ex-Lover, Heartbreak, and Death Spells because they hate you. And we have Yes. Well, that about sums it up. That's why they're scared because they don't know what's going on with you. They don't know if this shit worked or if it's circling back to them. Because they can't tell what's going on with your life. So if they see that you're going through things, it's like, okay, the death spells are working. But with them not seeing it, they don't know. And it's not working. <laughs> so this person doesn't know what to do. This is sad. Well, they saying what the fuck they need to do is move on. That's what they... <laughs> I said they don't know what to do. They need to move on. I keep seeing sex magic. With how lusty this person is, I could see that being true. Get like four more from here. Well, it's telling what was here. Somebody's a liar. They hate you and they full of hate. They hate that um that you could possibly have your wishes coming true here. Some of y'all are buying a house. And didn't I say the energy? There's an earth sign here. And then we have Capricorn. So y'all could be a Capricorn. Um, but there's definitely hater energy here. Your ancestors are asking you to just stay positive. Stay in 333 energy. Um, femininity, creativity, intuition, spiritual awakening, optimism, growth, luck, and expansion. Stay together. We have happiness and use discernment. Yeah. There's happiness here. They're asking you to stay with this person. It might be adversity here. I don't feel like it's coming from people close to you. We have Earth Sign Capricorn. I kept seeing it and putting it back. Um, somebody has Capricorn in their chart. Let's see what else we get here. We have cancer here and marriage. I knew the water sign wasn't that love bombing energy. There's a cancer that wants to marry you. This person could have, um, yep, I see spirit guys, June celebration, stay together. Look, past life. Told you. You are reconnecting with somebody that lost you in the past life. They had to wake, they had to walk away from you. And they're getting able to, they're being able to reconcile with you this lifetime. And it's karmic justice. We have spirit animal here and 222. Trust you are on the right path. New beginnings, collaboration, unity, and a perfect, this pursuit of perfect success, faith, trust, and harmony. Third party. Why did I, why did I get that feel? Why did that just come to me with the pursuit of happiness? What's that Will Smith movie? No, that said Pursuit of Success. Wasn't it the Pursuit of Happiness? Where he was with somebody that, that lady that was real mean and toxic and she abandoned him and, and the child they had together. And he was sleeping in the bathrooms and just trying to make ends meet, lost their place and was home. The Pursuit of Perfect Happiness. If you have not seen that movie, go watch it. That movie is touching. Um, but that relationship he was in, he was so kind. And that lady was just so trifling, y'all. When I say trifling, so mean and bitter. And this is what I'm getting here. And like, I don't know... She could have been a narcissist. Um, we have tower here. There's a tower that's a 1010. Trust you are creating at an accelerated pace. Joy, purity, unconditional love, and abundance. 
Oh my God. And we have Chu here. Watch that movie. We have losing finances. We have no sex magic. It's not working. Yep, it's not gonna work. Nothing this, and we have yes at the bottom. Nothing this person does is gonna work. But they want this person to not even know that. Go ahead and think the shit working. Keep piling, pop, keep piling up that karmic debt. So when ancestors come in and clap your ass, it lay you down. Like completely down in six feet. Play with this. Let this person keep racking up karmic debt. They already are karmic, period. Let them rack up the debt. And they ain't going to be able to pay the tab. How you going to pay it with your life? Keep playing. Somebody playing with fire here. I'm telling you. Is that serious? Somebody asked is about to learn something the hard way. Because they think their little narcissist shit is going to scare you. No. it's Y'all done built up too much strength here. That Tina Turner shit at the end when he came and sat that gun. I'm like, nigga, go ahead. <laughs> Tina was not put. I'm still going to be in. Some of y'all about to be in the spotlight. And this person going to be way up in the bleaches in the back. He got the two fit two dollar and fifty cent ticket <laughs> just to see your ass and be way up in the top. Can't even do nothing. Just watch you be in the spotlight and people enjoy your company and your energy. You be happy. That's the moral of this. All the shit you went through with somebody, it's time to be happy and be loved on. Mushy and gushy love on <laughs> if you get my drip. If somebody is ooh, oh my god, y'all don't have my deck here where I could get like the characteristics of the person and how they're gonna treat you. I left it in the other room. Um, but yeah, uh uh, y'all about to um be having the time of your lives around friends, family, people that appreciate you, love, and um care for you and want the best for you. I only feel one raggedy energy, and that's a past person to you. That's it. I don't feel nothing else going on here that you should worry about or nobody else. Usually, it's a couple of people for the collective. I'm not getting that. I'm getting this one person. Yep, I said you're about to be in the spotlight. We have camera on the bottom. Um, Where's that other deck? Y'all, I'm flaming. Lord have mercy. I'm going to get through it though. I'm almost done. I feel like I'm supposed to be pulling from something else. Give me a minute. I got to feel what deck I'm drawn to. couple of these. Six. Can I have six of these please? Runner. Running. Ghosting. Disappearing. Releasing. Letting go. Moving on. Yep. Some of y'all are invisible to this person. I'm going to show y'all the cards, but hold on. Memories, yep. Releasing memories, releasing the past. Elusive. Bluff. We got mass twice. This, pace, this person is fake as hell. I told you they have some type of identity crisis here. Um, That's five. Let me get one more. Well, I'm going to take the ones they gave me. Clarity, time, and second chance. This mother freak of waiting on a second chance. Y'all, let me just show you the cards and go through them. I just, I'm, I'm screaming inside, literally. Running. Y'all running from this person. Ghosting, disappearing, invisible. The whole, what I spoke on at the beginning. Releasing. Letting go, moving on, walking away. Memories. Reminiscing, dwell dwelling, bittersweet. Elusive. Deception, dishonesty, trickery. Mass. Bluff, pretending, exaggeration. Clarity. Truth, intentions, honesty. Time. Waiting cycles and moments. Second chance. Reconciliation, making amends, and an opportunity. 
Let me get another one because I want to see what comes after that. Tom and Second Chance because somebody's delusional. Exhaustion. They will keep trying until they're totally exhausted. That's what I mean. This person might, they might go to jail or they have to go. Because I don't feel like this person will stop. Uh, um, it's not to scare y'all. It's just to know that some... Oh, they might stop when your Divine Masculine come in. Yeah. <laughs> divine Masculine and Commitment. Look at there. Mm. The Divine Masculine is going to seal the deal. Yep, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's going to, oh my God, I can't even think of the word, y'all. Any mixed signals, blocked emotions, or whatever this person might feel you still have for them as far as feelings, it's gonna wipe away once you um, get in the union. Because they're going to be like, this person actually moved on from me. It's going to shock the hell out of this person. Lusting. They're forbidden. They're forbidden to interact with you. Or to even know what's going on with you. Yeah. So you can go towards your new beginnings in peace. And I spoke of that lusty ass energy. This person is, is giving me whole or whore energy. Bitterness giving me that too intuition obscurity secrets my mysteries I'm there is something about this person if you get my drift that they are hiding and that could be why this person might act a certain way towards women or if this is a woman why she might be very masculine Somebody is, they're confused about their sexuality. I'm getting that big time. Last one, y'all. Just said I was going to stop. Yep, here we go with fantasy and shit. Um, realization. They could be in their own world, too. Um, trapped. Look at their divine feminine, feminine and cloudy judgment. This person thinks you're trapped or stuck because of how much they've done to you. They don't think you're moving on or will have the strength to. The rude awakening might not ever come for them, but that's the energy they think you're in. Let them think. Some of y'all, the next time this person hear anything of you, you'll be married and building a family with your person. So let them continue to be delusional. They might stay away if they know or think, not know, if they think that you are that you have such horrible situations going on in your life. If you're struggling financially, unhappy, sad, miserable, having mental breakdowns, depressed, whatever they let them think it. <laughs> Pop out on a mofo, marry with a house, a new car, a new life. And they just have to look at the bottom of the deck page of swords. They just have to keep watching if they ever get the opportunity to. Y'all, like, subscribe, comment, share. Join the Spiritually Yours family. Well, I would love to have you. Um, thank you for the support. The likes, the comments, the shares, the subscribing. Thank y'all for rocking with me. I appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna get out of this hot ass room. <laughs> I will see y'all tomorrow. Later.